What's going up everybody? It's Chini the Great back for Inktober Day 12. So today's prompt was the word whale. So um, it was it was kind of interesting trying to find some sort of satirical theme that had to do with the word whale. But ultimately I knew I wanted to draw like a really cute shaped whale kind of like um, on the misadventures of Flapjack or whatever. That That whale is just so cute and I was really inspired by that. So I decided to draw that shape of whale, but in a mechanic form. So I drew this kind of like submarine style whale shaped mechanical object that's floating through the ocean. And I just wanted to go real simple with this, but that was completely intentional. And I think this is like one of my favorite cartoons that I've done all month. Just the way it looks, not necessarily the meaning behind it, but I think it looks really, really cute. And it was exactly what I was going for, so I was really happy with how it came out, even though it was super simple. So I've got this mechanical submarine whale floating through the ocean, and I haven't inked it yet, but there's a little pipe in the back, and it's spl like splooshing, <laughs> I don't know, splotching, splooshing out ink, like black stuff. Pretty much it's supposed to represent like oil, like an oil spill in the ocean. So I know submarines don't just go through the ocean, spill oil into the ocean. Like this is definitely kind of my artistic license here. But um, this submarine is squeezing out oil into the ocean and there's some fish that are getting caught up in this oil spill and they're dying. And I represented that because they're upside down so they're belly up and they're, they have X's over their eyes. So that's supposed to represent that these fish are dead. And yeah, I drew the oil just kind of like sitting in the water and coming out of the vehicle. So it kind of represents basically like America's industrialism and how it's not always a good thing. Like it's definitely a good thing to grow and progress and to invent and to build things, especially things that people need. But it, I think Americans take it a little bit too far where we destroy like forest and natural environments and animal lives and different cultures and environments to put up our own industrial places like I don't know it's just like we're destroying all the beautiful natural stuff around us to put industrial buildings and to put businesses and and in the end of the day it's all based around like capitalism and sales like it's all stuff to drive money and to get the corporate people more money they put that building there so that they could sell you a product or a service so it's more money in their pocket at the end of the day and it's kind of sad that we're destroying all this beautiful stuff around us and all these wonderful trees and landscapes and environments around us ruining a bunch of habitats and animal life just to get some guy who's already rich as fuck even richer but i mean there's some good sides to it we get new businesses, new buildings, new things like that too. I mean, the consumers also get to enjoy it. It's not just the CEOs of these things, but I don't know. I just wanted to reflect on that a little bit, kind of this industrialism versus nature aspect. And yeah, I really like, I don't know, I really like sea life and I've always just enjoyed it, even as a kid watching like documentaries about the ocean. And I still do that in my free time and it sounds silly because documentaries are usually pretty boring, but I love the ocean ones and I will watch Blue Planet over and over and over. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. So this, I don't know, I just really like how this one came out. And I really like the simple cartoony, like the stylistic design of this one, more so than like the meaning behind it is my favorite. Like so far out of these 12 this is like my favorite one just the way it looks it looks so clean and i've been using this brush pen and at first i hated it because it's so hard to control the lines but the whole point of the brush pen is that you can get really really thin lines or really wide lines depending on the way you hold the brush and whatever but i just got i kept getting really wiggly lines and i was like oh what the fuck it's so hard to control why does anyone like this and then I just kind of like accepted the wiggly line and I was like, fuck it. If I want wiggly lines, I'm going to use the brush pen. So that's what I've been doing. Anytime I kind of want like line weight and varied line weight, but I'm not doing it in a controlled manner. Like most people that use a brush pen, like I'm just letting the pen do its thing. I'm not worried about which way I'm holding my hand or anything like that. Like there's very few times where I want a really thin line, so I'll hold it upright. But other than that, I just let the brush pen 
pick the weight of the line and that's that's the finished product right there really simple but i really like how it came out and i think it gets the point across so if you want to see all my other drawings check out my instagram at ctg graffiti and i'll see you in the next video